What is up, I Love Basketball TV, it's Coach Ryan Rizuki, and today I'm gonna to be giving you drills to improve your non-dominant or your weak hand to make you a much better basketball player and improve your game and elevate over the competition. Let's get into it. All this dirt on my skin. Just came here to win. So the three most important things that you need to do with your non-dominant hand are to dribble, pass, and finish. The first one we'll be working on is our dribbling. We must be able to pound the ball and tap the ball while having control the entire time. So your first drill is simple, and this is one of many. All you're gonna be doing is going for about 15 seconds hard, pounding, boom, and then tapping. And then alternate, pound, and then tap. And this is one part of the series that we're gonna be doing with our dribbling. The next is gonna be all in-out dribbles. So you got 15 seconds hard, straight in-outs, turning that basketball and moving your body and shifting with the ball. This one is gonna be a little bit harder to manipulate the ball with that left hand. So you have your pounds, your taps, and then 15 seconds in-outs, moving and shifting your body with the ball. Next is your crossovers. You're going side to side, all left hand. Go ba, 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 ba. Go hard with this one, pound it. You can get it low. But you got 15 seconds again, building that control. Next is gonna be our between the legs. This one won't be easy as well. There's two versions for this one. You have front and back. You can go hard 15 seconds here. And then once you complete that one, you're just going around only. So you can go here 15 seconds in front of that leg. Now that you finish it between the legs, lastly is your behind the back, where we're gonna wrap that ball around, take a dribble, wrap it around, take a dribble, and wrap it around. So now you've got your pounds, your taps, your crossovers, your between, both ways, and then you're behind the back. Lastly, you're gonna get into your spin move, and this is focusing more on the change of speed. So you're gonna bounce it once, twice, and spin, bounce it once, twice, and spin. You're gonna get that 15 seconds, but be patient with this one. I don't want you to get dizzy. So, ball's in front of you. One, two, spin. One, two, spin. And you can see how that ball gets in front of me every single time. You can take three dribbles is fine, so that way you can reset yourself and recalibrate there. But this is gonna be all those basics that you need to get to with your dribbles first. Now that you have all the moves that you can do with just that non-dominant hand, you've practiced it, you've worked on it hard, your next job is to be creative as much as you can. You wanna be able to have all these moves, ba, boom, 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 working on all those moves with just the non-dominant hand. So be as creative as you can, go hard for 15 seconds, mix and match as many of those as you can, and keep pounding that ball, and lose it as many times as you have to until you can build that control so you never lose it again. So the next thing that we have to be able to do is pass with our non-dominant hand. And there's a few passes that you really need to make to advance your game and be a better playmaker. Bounce, chest, hook, and behind passes. We'll start with our chest pass. So we're gonna take a few bounces here, one, two, and only with this hand, pick it up, pass it off the glass, and retrieve it off that one bounce. This is gonna help you with your strength, being able to make those full court left hand passes, be able to get it to your teammate right on time and right on target. So it's one, two, pass, get it back, and then repeat that process all with the non-dominant hand. So you're passing it, retrieving it all with that hand, push it, throw it, retrieve it, don't even touch it with the opposite hand. Then you can get into your bounce passes. So for your bounce passes, you'll be throwing it off a wall or wherever you can find one, two, bounce, one, two, bounce. And that's gonna help you be able to make those quick bounces off that dribble so defense is guarding you, boom, someone cuts, and you can feed them right away. For your behind, it's the same thing, just face sideways. One, two, bounce, one, two, bounce. And then lastly, for your hook passes, you wanna get bicep to ear. So you're going one, two, throw, and then you retrieve it, one, two, throw. And that helps you when you're coming off a screen, you get your pick and pops, you find someone on the weak side, you wanna be able to get it off the bounce and get it all the way over to them. Super important that you can make all these passes, so work on those. You can go for about 10 reps on chest, bounce, behind, and hook. For our finishes, there are some staple finishes that we have to have with our non-dominant hand and of course our strong hand as well. But you're gonna be working on overhand first, and then we'll get some underhand, and we'll get some side hand, and then we'll get some inside hand as well. And these will translate to every finish that you'll ever need to do. So first is gonna be soft touch here. All we want is 10 in a row, left hand, just normal, right there, overhand finishes. You can finish with either leg up. Traditionally, you'll see left leg up, but it's also okay to work on that right leg up as well. Just soft touch, 10 finishes there. And for finishes, these are pretty easy, so let's work on 10 in a row. 
Then you're gonna have your underhand finishes. Same idea, just underhand, soft touch, work on those. Let's aim to make 10 in a row. And then for side hand finishes, not enough players work on these. So you're getting your head underneath the rim and you're gonna extend that ball to the outside, right? So I head under the rim, I wanna extend that ball to the outside. This gets me working on my flick, this gets me working on my touch, and I get a little spin on that basketball. Lastly is gonna be our inside hand finishes where you have to turn that ball pinky in. You can see that pinky rotating in, this gets you that jelly, right? But you work on finishing here on this side and turning that ball because you're gonna to have to get across the lane or get into a reverse finish. So you're turning that basketball there pinky in. So what we've done is we've worked on our overhand 10 straight, underhand 10 straight, side hand 10 straight, and then inside hand 10 straight as well. And that will get you through all your finishes. So now that you've improved on those finishes, then you can combine everything towards the end and work on dribble, pass, retrieve it, attack, and finish. And now you have a complete workout to improve your non-dominant hand. We hope you enjoyed today's video, so make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you did, and subscribe as we're dropping new videos every single week. So make sure you hit that notification bell. And if you hit the link and the pinned comment down below, it's gonna give you access to our new shooting program. So make sure that you go get that one, as it's an incredible program and it's gonna help you a ton. We'll catch you guys in the next video.